Okay, let's take a look at the first two trades we took today on crude. Now, these are the only two trades we took today. Okay, excuse me, I didn't, I didn't put the, uh, the chart up here, but the first one here was at 1035, and the second one here at 1043. So it was about 10, 15 minutes later, we had two back-to-back -back winners here. Now, these are both breaker patterns, and you can just see how, how easy these patterns are. Right, The short-term trend for the first one is up. We follow the slope of that trigger line. We're going to break above this 70.55 level here, right above the previous high of day. We mark up our swing high here, 70.56, 57. When we break above that swing high, there's your breaker pattern long at 59s. We took our first target at plus four, got a lucky bounce there at plus six, we took two off at six, one off at eight, one off at two, that's 220 or 22 ticks, right? 10 bucks per tick. Now a breaker pattern, a real simple pattern, goes with the short-term trend. Well, what if the short-term trend reverses and go back, goes back into the direction? We can take that too. So now the short-term trend bounces around here above 755. Obviously, we didn't see anything new. We were looking for another potential entry here back to the upside above the 70s. Okay, but we didn't get anything up there, so we waited. We come back down, we break below the 7040. We mark up our swing low here, right? And of course, we break below that swing low for your breaker pattern short. 39 was the fill, 43 was the time. A breaker pattern goes with the trend, right? So we break below that swing low, going with the short term trend. Plus four, got filled at plus six, got a little bit lucky there in that bounce there. Plus six, two off at six, plus four, one off at four, one off at three. 19 ticks or 190 USD. So we got 19 plus 22, right? What's that? 31, right? 41 ticks there. So 41 ticks total in a matter of 10 minutes. At 10 bucks per tick, add a zero to it, there's 410 USD. And that's the only two trades we took today. Now, can you see, though, going back in time, though, look at the time here, right? 1030, 1045, we had to wait for the price action to get to the very widest there at 10 o'clock, 1015, 1030. We started seeing trade patterns set up. We took the two trades we saw. And then all of a sudden, what do we see? Average two range goes back down, range starts to narrow, speed starts to slow down, and we never saw anything more the rest of the morning here. Then we finally saw our DX pattern long setting up in the euro. If you guys are with us this morning, we were watching this euro trade all morning here. It's called the DX pattern. If you want more information about it, it's available in our advanced course. Okay, you can also go to the blog and search for DX pattern. There's a little bit of information there as well. But of course, our members are trained on this DX pattern. It's a negative correlation, the dollar at its highs, the euro at its lows. And we noticed we had a couple key things here that were kind of keeping us out of this trade right now. The biggest thing was it was very slow out here today, right? Very slow. So the speed of the market was the initial kind of red flag that we may want to be extra cautious here. Then on top of that, we have the big round number of 2,400, right? Big round numbers, sloppy, choppy areas. Look at this thing. As it breaks above 2400, can't figure out where it wants to go. And then one more level, 2415, was my trigger line on my slow time frame. So we had kind of a problem here, right? We bounced off the lows, but I had to get above the 2400 because that was a big round number. I had to be concerned about the 2415. I had to get above 2415. But then notice, once we broke above 2415, we didn't go anywhere because we didn't see any big money buyers up here. Not to mention, everything was so sluggishly slow this morning that by the time we saw this thing setting up here at 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, this is just way too late in the morning, guys. Okay, we wanted to see this set up a whole lot earlier today, but it doesn't look like the euro really had the cojones, does it? Had to break above that 24.15, and as we saw today, guys, we didn't get anything above 24.15, and when we did, we didn't see it confirmed. Now, members will talk about what the confirmation means in the video on the DX pattern, so log into your advanced course and watch that video. All right, guys, so two trades today, guys. We didn't take the DX pattern long. We took the two crude oil trades, though, 41 ticks, 410 USD. We're shooting for that 50,000 mark, guys, this month. Let's prep for tomorrow, Tuesday, May 25th. We got 9 o'clock, the Case Schiller Home Price Index, 10 o'clock Consumer Confidence. So we get an important 10 o'clock number tomorrow. And, of course, tomorrow's a Tuesday. We'll be doing those 1130 free webinars. So you guys don't want to miss tomorrow. Uh, webinar tomorrow, 1130. 10 o'clock consumer confidence. We should see a lot more volume tomorrow because, of course, all the European and Canadian traders will be back from their holiday today. So be sure, be sure to come see us tomorrow, guys. And we open the room at 7.45. So 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll see you guys back then tomorrow. 11 o'clock, 11.30 webinar tomorrow, Tuesday and Thursdays. I want to remind you guys also the beginner's course is perfect for anyone looking to find more information about the patterns we trade, the indicators we use, the routines we go through each morning. Guys, all the setups are covered in the beginner's course as well. So look for the beginner's course, guys. Great information if you want to get started with us as part of your free trial.
If you want more information, guys, about our sales team, though, about our advanced membership, advanced membership is a lifetime trader access. More information at sales at schooloftrade.com. They're also on Skype, and you can call them toll-free. My name is Joseph James. Hope the video helps. Happy Monday to you guys. Happy holiday to all the traders out there in certain parts of the world. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow morning, 7.45 a.m. Don't miss a tick. See you then.